Hello and good evening. My name is John, and I'm playing Luxor 3 as part of my Steam Cleaning series where I go through the great and wonderful games in my Steam collection. This is the second Luxor video, I think, and I, looking at my list, I've got about nine other Luxor games to go through. The last one was Luxor 2 HD, so I'm assuming Luxor 3 is 50% more luxurious than the last one. Uh, ooh. Let's try a puzzle. Puzzle one. I like puzzles. Puzzle one. All right. Clear all the spheres on the board using all the spheres in your queue. There's no hurry. Take your time. All right. All right. So I have one green. Obviously, that's the puzzle. Did I need to catch those? I don't remember. Wow. A lot of fireworks for uh, <laughs> for doing that. All right, let's do puzzle two. Oh, it's a snake. Bounce off reflectors to get on tight matches. All right, reflectors. Oh, I see. That's kind of neat. I don't think I need to catch those. This isn't uh, Arkanoid. I'm assuming these puzzles are going to get a little tougher. But I do like the idea of puzzle mode. All right. Two blocks. Color replacer. When a sphere and color return all spheres that color on the board to a new color. The color replacer starts. Okay, so it's gonna turn all of them into yellow. Yellow to red. All right. Do I have to catch? Let's step it up. Where's my get to real puzzles? Red then blue. Huh. It's weird there's a reflector there. I don't know where that would go. What does black color mean? Wait. What? Oh, black's a color. Okay. I thought that. Silly me. I failed the puzzle. Alright, let's try that again. So, red and black. There we go. Red, blue, black, black. Gotcha. Red, blue, black, black. Oh, I did miss one. Okay, so you have to actually catch those. Just nailing these puzzles. Green, blue, red, green, red. So, what is going on here? Do I do green? Oops, no, I wasn't paying attention. So I guess I do this then. First time they've had split up groupings like that. So green. Catch those. Blue. I don't know what those are for. Alright, so now I have a red. so good. I think overall the puzzles are more interesting to me than the, the normal game. Red, red, green, red, red. Whoa. Well, if there's no purple. Huh. 
with that. Nope. Alright, now we're trying to get some complex stuff. The fact that it moved backwards threw me off. I'm sure I would know better if I was playing this more frequently. Let's say, let's say. Alright, so. It's red there. The purple's no good. That moved us back way too far. Huh. Red. Okay. The sliding back is throwing me off. Boom, 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 boom. I need to do that. Huh. Let's put this there. Oh, it connected. Interesting. Huh. Alright then. Well, let's say these puzzles are kind of challenging. Cool. So we're going to exit this and we'll go, oh, nope, that exited the entire game. <laughs> Not what I really expected. Mumble Jumbo. Did I forget my volume settings? All right. Play. Adventure. Is our new game? Uh, let's try medium. Get the normal. Gab's Good Earth. Our story begins with the old timely demise of the young pharaoh, unable to travel to the afterlife until his pyramid is complete. His Ka, spirit, spirit, is conscripted into the service of the gods of Egypt. They are fighting their own battles against Set, who sends his minions to steal the essences of the other gods. In the most immediate danger is the domain of the earth god, Geb. It is here that the Ka of the young pharaoh shall begin to serve. So... Geb the Grower, that's a bit salty. Uh, scares pushing the spheres. So we're fighting for our soul by having scares push things. Okay. Not really what I expected, but you know, you take what you can get. Scorpion. Whoa. Bugs go pretty fast. I need a red. Seagull sh Ah! Happy Seagull. New item unlocked in the store. Hmm. 
Hippo style hall. Yep, that's the way that the orbs go. That weird scare up thing. Blue, yellow, blue. Oh, uh, lightning bolt? Oh, they missed my the gaps. Forty-five on coin. Jar caught. Total jars too. Do they jars caught? Golden scarab. Get our next story beat. I want to know where this this crazy story. Is. Lotus bloom. Oh, it's a puzzle. Though. So those are interwoven with the uh, rest of the game. This is what the afterlife is like. Tiller of soil. Wealth of kings. Oh, I've got something down here I'm showing the bottles. Oops, missed. Have I saved the afterlife yet? Have I saved the afterlife? Don't know. Oh, there's that snake again. A peps, a peps water.
Road of the Ancients. Defense of the Ancients. Okay. but it just did its thing. Sharpshooter achievement. All jars collected. Bonus level unlocked. Survival mode. Guardian Gap. With a twist! Scares keep coming, so fend them off until the timer runs out. Minute 40, eh? Over. Dang, missed. Well, that's not it. Scarab. Send us all backwards. Time. Restore items and bonus level. One, two, three, all our canopic jars. Egypt's weird. Treasure hunter mode gives blessing stage one bonus. Sets minis are running a muck, remove as nice you can. Pyramids being built. Stage two. Nut, the goddess of the sky and heavens, has cried out for help. The other gods send Pharaoh Ka to her domain next. Alright. Yep. Let's go to the menu. Quit the menu. 
Oh, the menu. It's in the shop store. So I could buy buy different balls, different launchers, and upgrade power-ups. Hmm. All right. Well, that has been Luxor Three. Uh it's not so bad. Like I'm sure when I get to Luxor Five or Six, maybe those will be you know pretty darn stable and I mean, not stable but like pretty god darn set in stone and worked out uh overall it's a fine game i just would never uh recommend this over the newer ones but uh yeah there you go luxor three cheers